Hello, comic book guys and gals, and welcome to Comic Mag Musings. This handsome devil is your host, Bill Miller. I'm very, very excited today because we have a small unboxing of some comic books that I know, for the most part, what they are. And I haven't been more excited in quite some time. You will get to find out. And I will show them to you before I get to see them. So let's crack this open with our trusty box cutter. Made for right-handers. And see what we have inside. First thing we have is bubble wrap. All right. And looks like we have some slabs. On the best way to get this open. Cardboard. It's always tricky because it's pretty close to the books. Got the back, so I haven't seen them. And I think we're ready to go. So first, that wasn't too bad. Here we are. Boom. Oh boy, look at that, what a beaut. I think we've got an OB Cole. So this is Shocking Mystery Cases number 55, Star Publications, July of 1953. Cover LB Cole, Art George. Pelts. This is a CBCS 3.0 with cream to off-white pages. So I'm very excited about this one. And on the back, we've got an improved formula for chewing gum that helps reduce your weight. So, Shocking Mystery Cases, number 55. Fantastic. All right. Now for our next one. And here we are. Boom. Oh, boy. We definitely collect the man thing. This is Man-Thing number 20, Marvel Comics, 
August of 1975. Cover, John Ramita. Art, Jim Mooney. Story, Steve Gerber. Spider-Man, Daredevil, Thing, and Shang-Chi appearance. This is a CBCS 9.6 with white pages from the Pennsylvania Dutch pedigree. So very excited to have that one. On the back, we have the LaSalle Extension University coupon. So man thing number 20. All right, next up. Here we are. Boom. Oh boy, we collect Godzilla as well. Pretty exciting. We've got Godzilla number 21, Marvel Comics, April of 1979. Doug Mensch, story, Herb Trimp and Dan Greenart, Herb Trimp, cover. Devil Dinosaur, Moon Boy, Fantastic Four, Dum Dum Dugan, and Gabe Jones, appearance. This is a CGC 9.6 with white pages. All keepers. And on the back, we've got our fast selling American seeds. So Godzilla, number 21. And we've got three more books. And here we are. Oh boy. Hard to go too long without getting a Conan in, isn't it? This is Conan the Barbarian, number 39, Marvel Comics, June of 1974, bondage cover. Roy Thomas story, John Buscema art, Gil Kane and Ernie Chan cover. This is a CGC 9.6 with off-white pages. So very excited to add another Conan. And of course, they're pushing those seeds like there's no tomorrow. So Conan the Barbarian, number 39. Two more. All right, here we are. Ready, set, and go. Oh boy, look at that one. I am very, very excited about that. This is Blue Bolt number 110, Star Publications, August of 1951. LB Cole cover, classic cover. CTC 4.0 with cream to off-white pages. Just gorgeous. Let's see if we can take that in without too much glare. And on the back, the new magic panel feature slims like magic. Look slimmer, more youthful. Reduce your appearance. That's some type of girdle or undergirdle. So blue bolt number 110. All right, and our last one. I know this one, so 
I'm beyond excited about it. And here we are, boom. Just look at that beauty. Let's drink it in. And this, for those who don't know, was the drawing of the book I would hope to be getting that I presented in my 500 subscriber contest. As a matter of fact, I should have that. There we are. Tell me that isn't spot on. Now, I'm not saying I'm an artist, but geez Louise. The similarity is uncanny. So we've got Blue Bolt number 112, Star Publications, February of 1952. Cover, L.B. Cole, Art and Stories, J. Disbrow. Weird Tales of Terror, Skull Cover. This is a CBCS 3.0 with off-white to white pages. I'm over the moon about this one. And on the back, they're still working on reducing that weight with the relaxing, soothing massage, an electric spot reducer. So Blue Bolt Weird Tales number 112. And that will do it the comic books that we have for today. I hope you enjoyed seeing them. I certainly enjoyed showing them to you. And if you did, I would encourage you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted as soon as I drop new red hot content. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated. And remember, we're taking over the world one comic book at a time.